Hey guys, what is up? It is Guides for Us All here, and today we're going to be checking out how to get all of the Tome and Scroll Merchant Upgrade items in Dark Souls 3, starting off with the Great Swamp Pyromancy Tome. Start off in the Halfway Fortress in the Road of Sacrifices, make your way down into the swampy area, head where I do by the Giant Crab, and pick up the Tome from the body. To get the Karthus Pyromancy Tome, start at the entrance of the Catacombs of Karthus and make your way into that first big room after the open room, and to your left there will be a staircase up, progress down that path until you reach a ladder. Go down that ladder and head into the next room where to your right will be an illusory wall that you can roll right through. Keep going until you find the Karthus Pyromancy Tome sitting in a corpse. To get the Izalith Pyromancy Tome, start off at the Smoldering Lake in the Old King's Antechamber Bonfire, turn left and head straight down that hallway until you reach a dead end with the tome lying in front of a statue. To get the Quilana Pyromancy Tome, start from the second bonfire in the Smoldering Lake, head down until you reach that large room with a bunch of those fire mages in it. Instead of going towards them, turn right and head through the doorway in the corner. You will see a rat in the hallway. Turn to the right, keep going forward, roll through that wall to reveal that it is an, an illusory wall, and to your left will be the Quilana Pyromancy Tome. To get the Grave Warden Pyromancy Tome, play through the Catacombs of Karthus until you come across the High Lord Wall near boss fight. On a corpse right in front of you when you start the boss fight will be the Tome. To get the Braille Divine Tome of Karim, start at the Road of Sacrifices bonfire and make your way through the area normally until you reach a bridge. Before you cross that bridge, turn right and you will be able to drop down onto another path. Progress through that path until you reach a little cave and inside will be the Braille Divine Tome of Karim. To get the Londor Braille Divine Tome, you will first need to get Yol of Londor back at your shrine by talking to him at the High Wall of Lothric. Once you go back, talk to him and allow him to draw out your true strength. Now he will have to do this five times, he will give you a level up for free every two times that you die. So go outside, jump off the cliff, and then come back in after you've died twice. Eventually he will have leveled you up five times. Then you're going to have to play through the game until you get to the Catacombs of Karthas area. Return back and Yoria of Londor will have replaced Yol of Londor. Talk to your and you can buy the Londor Braille Divine Tome for 50 souls. In the Cathedral of the Deep, once you've unlocked the shortcut that leads you deep inside the cathedral, take it back down and cross the area where the giant will try to attack you. Now, once you get through the door to the other side, head down the stairs and to your right will be a mimic. Either kill it or use a charm on it to get the Deep Braille Divine Tome. To get the Braille Divine Tome of Lothric, start in Lothric Castle, right outside where you fight the Dragon Slayer armor, turn around and you will see a broken wall. Drop down, turn around and head inside that room where on a corpse you will find the Braille Divine Tome of Lothric. To get the Sage's Scroll, start at the Keep Ruins Bonfire on the Road of Sacrifices. Right once you walk out, turn left and fall off the bridge, then progress pretty much straight forward and you will see an area with three of those enemies curling around a corpse. Once you kill them, the Sage's Scroll will be on the corpse. To get the Golden Scroll, start at the Keep Ruins Bonfire on the Road of Sacrifices. Head towards the big door and turn to the right, hug the wall until you reach a cave by the Basilisks and inside will be the Golden Scroll. To get Logan's scroll, start off in the profaned capital. Drop down and head through this hole in the wall, then progress towards this bridge that is located to your left where you will enter a hallway. There will be a hole in the hallway, drop down into there, then climb the ladder in this room to reach the roof where you will fight an enemy who will drop Logan's scroll. To get the crystal scroll, make your way into the grand archives and kill the crystal sage. He will drop the crystal scroll. And that wraps up how to get every scroll and tome in Dark Souls 3. Anyways, thanks for watching the video guys. If you enjoyed, please leave a like rating down below and subscribe to see some more videos in the future. Make sure to check out my Facebook and Twitter for updates on videos and other strange posts. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. Here's a game. Take a shot every time I say and in my outro.